feel my stomach cake, my body breaking down. Cause there's drugs in there, can never save me now. Yeah, relax, relax, with my veins at. The same that y'all, but when I cop, I make the cheese back. There's something just to touch off, I feel like, about the colors. I'm not sure if I would say it's a flaw. I think uh, the color correction process, um, or even a filter to distort the visuals, uh, just a touch uh, would be worth considering. I, I do like clean visuals. I don't like over distorted and filtered shit, but I think maybe uh, a little bit of that might be helpful. Like you could drop the saturation of the colors and then color correct a bit to emphasize certain colors of your choosing a bit more, or maybe you could just desaturate all the colors and then create kind of like a blue tint. A very small blue tint often works well with nighttime shoots. Or you can just say fuck it and mute all the colors so it's much more like monochromatic. That might look good for this, uh, closer to like a black and a white composition. Uh, it might fit the vibe of the song uh, a bit more. Um, and if you really want to step it up and get crazy as far as like knowing how to level up, um, lighting itself is an art and it's underappreciated. And so the standard kind of lighting process is called three point lighting. You could look it up and Google it. And um, what it, one of the things it does is it gives you more contrast in your lighting and more control over it. And it allows you to control shadows and make interesting things with your shadows. And I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to uh, freeze frame it right there, because even though that might not have been intentional, that moment of the shadow is intriguing visually to me. And I don't want you to have a visual uh, shadow the whole time, but you can mix in shadows, both covering your face and, and what your shadow is doing, and having the, the camera pan over to the shadow and back. Lots of little things like that might actually level up what you're doing here because I think visually you have a you or your team has a good sense of what you're trying to do here so I really want to encourage that um, yeah I think some three-point lighting and strategic shadow use uh, could give you more of that film noir style which I think could be a good fit for you um, you know the visuals do have me invested in the track I think that's a good uh, lane for you one of the things you might do is you could use like crazy contact lenses if you're trying to really go crazy with this. You might as well go all in if this is what you're trying to do. You know, don't half step it. You know, go all in. Like some hops in contacts or something. That could be real wild. Also, you could use certain colors or green screen them so you can correct them um, later on and, and change what's going on there when you edit it. Um, I normally, I actually dislike when people do that shit for no reason. But when you're trying to build a dark aesthetic like here, I think I think those things get on the table. 